Welcome to the 2010 88th running of the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. Started in 1960, the Pikes Peak Hill Climb has become an annual world-class motorsports event. In fact, it's the second oldest automotive competition in the USA, just behind the Indianapolis 500. Its popularity remains a favorite among racing enthusiasts, and it's still only one of a few events that maintain an unlimited class. It's a timed event over a 12-mile course, running up to the summit of a mountain. This is the mountain we've been talking about, and drivers have been attempting to conquer this mountain for almost 100 years. This is Noble Hero Tajima and his factory special Suzuki XL7 winning the 2007 Pikes Peak International Hill Climb with a record-breaking run in the unlimited class of 10 minutes and 1 second. Tajima's run broke the all-time record set by Rod Millen in 1992. Known in racing circles as Monster, he's planning on breaking his own record and is back with an entirely new car and setup. I don't know who is best on Sunday, depends the weather, but I'm sure I'm, uh, I'm no problem. I'm a very, very uh, confident. Two new competitors have moved into the unlimited class this year. Paul Dahlenbach has moved up from the open wheel class. Last year, uh, we got hit with rain when uh, Monster got to run, uh, run in, in the drive because the unlimited cars can run whenever they want. So. Um, that's one of the reasons why we moved up to the Unlimited Division. We are able to do a little bit more to our car uh, to get it a little bit faster aerodynamically that we were not allowed to do in the Open Wheel Division. So you gotta, you got to have your, your stuff together. The other driver to move up is Reese Miller, and he comes from the Time Attack class. This year for 2010, we're, we're stepping up to play with the big boys, Unlimited class, effectively no rules, bring a clean fit piece of canvas and, and structure the car in, in the way that you feel is the right approach to produce the fastest time up this mountain. Outside of safety restrictions, engine, drivetrain, aerodynamics, braking, everything is free. And we've designed the lightest, um, I feel, most competitive unlimited car to date. To learn more about the actual running of the hill climb, we spoke with several seasoned drivers and had them explain what they thought was one of the most important things it takes to conquer Pikes Peak. To a man, they all noted that it wasn't necessarily the fastest car, which certainly helps, but that the greatest challenge was the mountain itself. The toughest thing really is, is just the road itself. You know, changing all the time, being able to remember all 156 turns up there. I think the first thing you have to accept is it's always you against the mountain. The mountain is a living organism. We can be sitting here on a sunny day and tomorrow we'll wake up to hail all over the course. You always are against the conditions of the mountain. John Sandy Productions Incorporated, producer of the annual Pikes Peak International Hill Climb National Television Show, is assisting with sponsorship and marketing. For information, contact Phil or Doug at John Sandy Productions or visit us at jsptv.com.